everybody, this is Garrett Weiss. Just wanted to come with a quick video just talking a little bit about repentance and some of the videos that my friend Matt Powell has showed me about the twisting of scripture of 1 Corinthians 5.17. Now, I myself used to believe before I was saved that I had to turn from my sins to be saved. I believed that I had to be a good person, turn over a new leaf, you know, quit drinking, quit smoking, quit doing the things that I used to do when I was unsaved. And then I was confronted with a verse in the Bible, Jonah 3, 10. And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the things he said he would do unto them, and he did it not. So the Bible says that our works, turning from our evil way, is works. I had to swallow the pill of understanding that my works was being a good person. I used to listen to people like Paul Washer, James White, um, different lords, Lordship Salvationists, and I believed like them Exactly. I, I, I watched their sermons, I read their commentaries, and, and I believe like that. And I believe that there are people out there, just like Ron Lovell, some of the videos that I've seen, where they're twisting a scripture like, uh, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The main logic behind that is that all things have become new. You know? He says, you know, if you're living the same way that you were before, then all things have not become new. But here's the thing. We, we know that when we got saved, our spirit was born again. We are saved by faith eternally and that our spirit has become new. Could you see a physical change when you got saved? Because if you're going to say that all things means everything and all things that pertain to everything, then you had to change physically. But we all know that we all stayed the same, but there was something that changed on the inside of every single one of us who believed on Christ. That was our spirit. It was saved, and that was what became new. Just to wrap it up, I just want to say that, you know, what I'm hearing Ron Level say and preach is the same thing that I've heard Paul Washer preach, who's a Calvinist. The same thing that James White preaches, that's also a Calvinist, five-point Calvinist. The same thing that Billy Graham preached, he got up and said that you had to turn over a new leaf, and it's just, not just by faith, he was an ecumenicalist. The same thing that Ray Comfort preaches, Ray Comfort preaches that you have to repent of all of your sins and live in holiness to be saved. And all of these people, of all these different denominations and beliefs, all come to the same conclusion that salvation is by turning over a new leaf, and that's exactly what the Bible warned about. In the last days, there would be people who would bring in damnable heresies.